today presenting green bean tater tot casserole. This is a two pound bag of frozen green beans. This bag of tater tots will usually fit in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. You need some kind of ground meat, one to two pounds. Cream of celery or your favorite cream of something soup. Two onions at least salt and pepper, and then there's some other spices, but we'll get into that, and some spray pan. Let's do this today together on this side of the firmament. Now you can dump your whole bag of tater tots into the bottom of your pan. You can also use frozen french fries, any type of frozen potato really. Line them all up so that they create a nice foundation. Next, you can move over to the stove top to start the filling. You add both cans of your cream of something soup. And then you'll need to cut up your onions. You can add them now in the process or you can add them later in the cooking process which will leave them fresher by the time you put them in your casserole and it will have a slightly spicier onion flavor to it. My mom was a doll this time and did the onion cutting so I didn't have to cry through it. Thank you mama. Next, you can add your meat. If you don't have canned meat like I do, then you'll need to obviously brown it on the stove. I like to mix beef and turkey together over just having ground turkey, but um, you know, any combination is fine. I dry can my meat, so when I open this lid, you'll see there's not a bunch of water. It's not just grainy, wet, mushy meat. I'll make a video on dry canning meat because it's really helpful. Uh, there's an opened bag of green beans I had in my freezer, and now I'm cracking into the two pound bag of green beans. I don't add it all in right now because I want to mix it together and try to disperse that cream of something soup and the beef and the onions and get it all stirred in, then decide if I need to add more green beans. Turn it on to a low heat. You don't want anything to burn to the bottom. That's counterproductive. Oh, time for more green beans, like I said. If they're already getting lost in just the filling, then they'll really get lost in the whole casserole with the tater tots as well. So make sure you can see the green when you're mixing in the filling. They still hold their shape, and you can still taste them and distinguish them once it's in the casserole, so they're worth it. Next up, we're going to start seasoning it. That's just a little bit of salt I'm shaking on there. You can start with a little shaker like that, but it might be easier to just get your bigger bottle of salt out. <laughs> pepper! What makes this casserole is pepper. So you'll see I just keep adding to it until the flavor's right. This is soy sauce. I buy it in a big jug and then I just divvy it into this smaller bottle so I don't have to accidentally dump a whole cup into something on accident with the jug. Just kind of pay attention to how I'm just shaking stuff onto the top layer of this. Garlic salt. I know it looks like a lot, but it does get lost. And then with the potatoes, remember they're in the bottom of your pan they are going to absorb a lot of this flavor when you bake it together. So you have to kind of over-season the filling. At this point, I haven't added any water. You don't need to because the green beans let off water as they defrost and cook into it, and the cream of something soup is concentrated, but between the water of the green beans, it works out. If you didn't see that, it's sharp shredded cheese. This is probably a cup and a half, maybe two cups.
white pepper. That is really a uh, next level pepper flavor. If you have it, great. If you don't, just add more black pepper in. The longer it cooks together, the black pepper will disperse its flavor. This is more soy sauce. I can kind of eyeball it based on the color I know that the filling gets as I add the soy sauce and then as it cooks together. Uh, for you, if you like the flavor of soy sauce over just standard salt, then uh, really add something. Oh, there's some more cheese. I'd say another cup. Maybe a cup and a half. The longer you cook this on the stove, the better the flavors will be together when you pour it into the pan. Pink Himalayan salt. Was about a spoon you get from the drawer, shuck into it. It's looking good. Now all we got to do is transfer it over. Oh, you're going to want it so bad by this point. Let me just show you that again. Seriously. I wonder why you don't cook everything in a casserole. Just, you know, level it out a little bit. Everything's pretty much cooked, you know? You just want to get those tater tots on the bottom all the way hot and slightly crispy. So 375. just need it to get slightly brown on the top. That usually takes about 45-ish minutes at 375 degrees. And then done! We love this meal for Sabbath on Saturdays. We prepare it on Fridays and it's so easy to warm back up on Saturday. Truth be told, this is actually the last of the casserole that I warmed up a couple days later in the toaster oven because I completely missed photoing and videoing the casserole when it was coming out of the oven on the first day. So it's slightly more gravy-esque when you have it fresh that night, but not a ton. And even at this consistency, it all still has its own shape. <laughs>